Hi everybody, it's Mike Ofka here, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my coyote encounter video on YouTube that has recently received a lot of attention. I mean, I uploaded the video about five years ago, five years prior to me making this video here. And um, in the past couple months, it uh, has received several hundred thousand views all of a sudden. For one thing, I never imagined that that video would receive this amount of attention. Uh, it's incredible to me that I have a video on YouTube with over a million views. I mean, that's just crazy. But, at the same time, I didn't realize that it would stir up so much controversy in the comments, especially from animal rights people, um, animal lovers. Now, myself, I am an animal lover. Obviously, I have dogs. Um, I love being out in nature and being around wildlife. I'm a hiker. So, I didn't want to see anything bad happen to that coyote, or any animal for that matter. So, I just wanted to shed a little bit of light on what actually happened that day so that uh, you can understand the entire picture and then form your judgments from there so that morning I went outside to take out the trash now I'm filming this video come here Chino I'm filming this video at my home which is in West Virginia and the coyote incident took place at my business location which is just a few miles from here in Steubenville Ohio that morning I took out my trash when I opened the door, I immediately saw the animal leaning against the house, just like you see it in the video. And it startled me. Uh, I believe that I startled it. And uh, I just went back in the house and left it alone. And I hoped that it would just go away on its own. So, about 10, 15 minutes later, I let my dog outside and I could hear it was barking and it confronted the coyote from the other side of the fence. So that's when I decided to grab my video camera and I went outside and started filming. Now from where I was standing, um, I would say there was about 40 feet at least of distance between me and the coyote, plus there was a air conditioner uh, condenser unit sort of blocking the path. So I wasn't concerned about the coyote coming after me. The, the animal probably weighed 40 pounds at the most. Um, it wasn't behaving aggressively. My thought was that it was injured, possibly, because it hadn't moved and it, it looked like it was frightened. So I decided to call animal control because nothing good could possibly happen with a wild animal roaming around in a residential area. I mean, my neighbors have small children over there. Uh, now, I, I said that it's a business, but the area is zoned historic, so you're allowed to have businesses in this residential area of town. It was downtown Steubenville. Uh, some of the neighbors have small kids and pets. Uh, one of my neighbors has a small dog and with a coyote wandering around sometimes they can be aggressive or they can be you know incite fear into children or they could injure somebody or somebody's pet now there's also a highway on the other side of the, the house behind the house where the coyote could wander in there and cause an accident or get hit by a car so there's many different uh, bad things that could have happened with this animal wandering around the neighborhood. Uh, so I still feel that calling animal control was the right thing for me to do. So as you see in the video, the officer showed up, he successfully captured the animal and um, placed him inside the vehicle and away they went. Um, no injury occurred to the animal. Now some people talked about the snare around his neck. They, they said that that was a cruel treatment 
However, uh, I disagree with that. I think that the animal was not injured in any way. I mean, to me, it's nothing uh, worse than like a choke collar on a dog. But it's the same concept. So, when the officer asked for his photograph to be taken, I thought that was pretty cool, actually. I mean, it's not every day you see a coyote this close in person, let alone are able to capture it alive. It was kind of a cool, fascinating moment to be a part of. Um, so, again, I don't find anything wrong with that at, at all whatsoever. Now, I sent the footage to a local news station. I have a good friend that worked there, and they ran a story about the coyote incident that night. Now, on the news, they reported that the coyote was released to a nearby state forest about 10 miles outside of the city limits. And uh, I thought that that was great. I mean, the uh, coyote was released back into the wild. No pets or human beings were injured in the incident. It went great. Now, if the coyote ended up being killed, I really wouldn't have lost any sleep because... At the end of the day, it is a wild animal. And it's unfortunate that it wandered into a residential area like this. However, if I have to choose between the coyote or one of my neighbors or myself or my dog or one of my neighbor's pets, uh, I'm gonna choose them over, the, uh, over a coyote any day. Now, coyotes are a nuisance in this area and in a lot of areas of the country. They are overpopulated. Um, they hunt livestock. They do hunt pets and small animals and uh, they carry diseases. Like I said before, I am an animal person. I love all animals. Um, I hate to see any animal being treated cruelly. It's unfortunate that um, these types of incidents do happen from time to time but uh, again this is the best possible outcome so I don't understand why anybody would feel any differently so this is Chewy uh, this is the this is my dog who was in the video uh, she's a shepherd lab mix and she's about 12 years old now, 12 and a half years old. Uh, again, that video was shot about five years ago, so she was a lot younger back then. But she's still doing great. She's in good health and uh, still very active. Anyway, I hope this video helped shed some light on the whole situation. If you haven't done so already, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos. Uh, there's a couple on there already of me and the dogs hiking and enjoying the outdoors. Uh, there's plenty more to come. So thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.